Michelle Long, back with part two. Watch how be the same body of thy times. Let us continue here with part two. Let's go to the blue letter again here. Give me a minute. All right. Let's get into some words here for further understanding. All right. Let's go into the word wisdom. Strong's H 2451. Chokhmah. Chokhmah. Wisdom, skill in war, that would be Esau's wisdom, right? His blessing was the sword, as well as deception, all right? Shrewdness, wisdom, prudence, see? Prudence, which means being wise, right? Having wisdom in what? Religious affairs, ethical and religious, all right? In other words, there's truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, all right? And those are your weapons of warfare, all right? And we'll get into that when we get into 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. All right? Uh, let's see what else here we want to look at. Knowledge. Strong's H, 1847. Da'ath. Da'ath. Perception, skill, discernment, understanding. See that? And it's up to you people out there to make a discernment from who your, the, the true prophets are, your true teachers are, to the false prophets, the false teachers. Okay? And they, they've been around for centuries. You can start with the, uh, man-made religious ideologies, okay? And that's what they are. They have nothing to do with these scriptures, okay? Those people are not set up by the Most High through His Son, all right? That's why those people are coming out of the churches. That's why the Israelite, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans are waking up and leaving those churches, all right? As a matter of fact, I just met one... Uh, uh, being out there at camp uh, yesterday, all right, uh, uh, she's from the tribe of Simeon, all right, and she herself was telling me that she no longer uh, goes to these churches, all right, and she understood when I read to her in Acts, Acts 748, Acts 1724, that the Lord does not reside there. Why? Because where does he reside? He, he resides in his people. Right? 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, that we are the temple, we are the church, we are the congregation. You understand? And she recognized that. All right? All right. Let's see what else here. See, to know... To learn, to know, to perceive, okay? To perceive and see, find out, discernment, right? See? To perceive, to be instructed, okay? So you, you're going to have to want to be taught. By what? Your elders, okay? The apostles. All right? You're going to want to be, uh, be taught. That's how you come into this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. All right? Everything starts with the renewing of your minds. We read it already. All right? All right. What else here? For this word treasure. Mm. All right. All right. All right. Give me a minute. 
All right, we're going to go to uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. Give me a minute. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare, right? And we wrestle not, right? With, uh, with flesh and blood, right? We don't. Give me a minute. Let's prove that. All right, I'll start here in Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that he may, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And those wiles are talking about his devices, his deceptions. You understand? His darts, okay? His slander, his lies, all right? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. I repeat, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Those are demons, okay? Spiritual demons, all right? Against powers, against rulers of darkness, okay? Who are those rulers of darkness? It all starts with Amalek, the Amalekites. All right, the international banking families, your Rothschilds, your Oppenheimers, your Rockefellers, et cetera, et cetera, 13 families and all. It all starts there with them, all right? Known as the Illuminati, known as Satanists. They have many names, all right? So against the rulers of darkness of this world, because they're the ones who rule, they're the ones behind the curtain, Okay? Against spiritual wickedness in high places. See that? You understand? Wherefore take unto you the whole armor. That means you have to read these scriptures. Okay? You have to come into the understanding of these scriptures. This truth, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding. The new song. Okay? So, take on to you the whole armor of the Most High, which are these scriptures, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate, right, which again is what? These scriptures, that's your armor, Okay? the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shot with preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, right? And everything is based on what you believe. All right? That's your faith. And again, keeping the laws is not going to save you. You are saved. By grace are ye saved through faith. You understand that? So it ultimately it is by the mercies of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that ye are saved. Alright? So above all, taking the shield of faith, where ye ye shall be able to quench, see, those fiery darts, that's the wiles of the devil, of the wicked. And the wicked is Esau Edom. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked, Job 9 24, Malachi. Right? One and four tells you who that is. Esau, Edom, the Edomites, the white man. Okay? Also has many names. Also known as what? That man of sin, the son of perdition. Right? He is a dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. Okay? And when you come into the understanding of those words and the meaning of it and the understanding of these scriptures, you understand that yes, it's talking about Esau, Edom, the white man. All right? It's not talking about Japheth. Okay? All right? So, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High, right? This testimony. Okay? You have, what is it that Yahushua uh, tells us? Right, St. John's, right, uh, 716, all right, that this doctrine is not his, but him that sent it. Who sent Yahweh Shah? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. See, this is Yahweh's doctrine, 
So he even tells you that. All right? All right? Praying always with all prayer and supplication. No word for supplication is begging. All right? In spirit and watching thereunto with all preservance and supplication for all saints. And who are the saints? The Israelites, you Negro Latinos and Native Americans that make up the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, let me get back, all right? I believe you people got the point there. Let's get back, give me a minute. All right, so the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We broke that down. We went to Ephesians, right, 6 and 10 and read on down. All right, but mighty through the Most High, right? Through His Son, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bachim, Yahweh Shai, to the pulling down of strongholds. What are their strongholds? Their deceptions and their lies. Okay? This is what's kept Him in power. Not just His blessing, the sword, but also the blessing of deceptions and lies. This is why this man is the devil. When you look that word up, the blue letter of Bible Concordance is talking about a man. It's not talking about somebody in a red suit with two horns to tail and a pitchfork. Okay? The man of sin, the lawless one. Son of perdition, he's all about destruction. The vessels of wrath, fitted for destruction. Okay? The dragon goes back to the Roman Empire. Okay? America... NATO and the EU represent the last leg and extension of the revived Roman Empire. And all you got to do is open up your eyes and look around. Washington, D.C., look at the courthouses, all the Roman columns. You have to know history to know that America early on, after the original White House burned down, you know, uh, before that happened, that, that area was known as Little Rome on the Tavir. This is real history, all right? Okay, so you can't, there's no getting away from any of this. This is just prophecy, okay? It's just prophecy, people, all right? And what does it say here? We use God's mighty weapons. This is the NLT, not worldly weapons, right? We use the weapons. The testimony of the Most High, his words, not ours. To knock down the stronghold of human reasoning and to destroy the false argument, see? And that's what everything is. It's all a falsehood. You live in a matrix. That's what he created. And the matrix is, you know, a world of falsehood. You know, there's a veil, a covering cast, right? As you read in Isaiah, you know, 725. Or uh, what is that? Isaiah 25 and 7. So lock it for that. All right, a veil on the cast that was put over all people and nations. All right, you understand? All right, give me a minute. All right, we'll end this here and we'll be right back with part three. Shalom.